Our fifth story tonight, out front, the Benghazi debrief. Former CIA Director David Petraeus told Congress today that immediately after the September 11th attack in Libya, he knew al-Qaeda-linked militants were behind it. According to Republican Congressman Peter King, Petraeus' testimony today differed from what the Obama administration officials told the American people in the days following the incident. Petraeus said he helped to write unclassified talking points after the attack, but had no direct involvement in writing the talking points used by Susan Rice, the ambassador to the UN, who said publicly that the attack was spontaneous and was sparked by an anti-Muslim film. I know this is complicated, but stick with us here. The question remains, why didn't Rice's talking points include the fact that this was a terrorist act and a planned one and all of that? Listen. He said it went through a long process involving many agencies, uh, including the Department of Justice, including the State Department, and no one knows yet exactly who came up with the final version of the talking points, other than to say the original talking points prepared by the CIA were different from the ones that were finally, finally put out. National Security Council spokesman Tommy Veter tells CNN Rice's talking points were produced by the intelligence community and that, quote, the White House and State Department offered one edit changing consulate to diplomatic facility for accuracy. Congressman Adam Schiff is a Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, and he was in the Petraeus hearing today. I'm glad you've joined us this evening. What do you make of all this? I, you know, Republicans are saying there was some kind of political shenanigans going on. You've heard more of the testimony than we have. What do you think? There's never been any evidence to back that up. Uh, it was clear that the intelligence community at the outset got it wrong. Uh, their assessment at the time, and this included General Petraeus, when he initially met with us, they thought that there was a protest out in front of the consulate. They thought that the violence took place uh, either during the protest or after the protest. Yes, there were militants involved. Yes, there were terrorists involved. But they thought it began spontaneously. We now know there was no protest. But it's certainly not accurate to say or suggest, as some of my colleagues have, that the White House was trying to politicize this. Hold, or hold, they on, were a second, hold on a second. You said we now, know, we now know there was no protest. How long do you think it took us to know there was no protest? How long do you think it took for us to know there was no protest? Well, I think probably the best uh, evidence that we got uh, was when we finally obtained the video evidence, and that took some time. How, uh, even, then, some, even, some time even then, though? Even then, well, uh, you know, that took, I think, probably at least a week to 10 days. Oh, okay. So, even, okay. so let's, even say, then, let's say it took Tom, 10 days. Let's yeah. say it took 10 days. 14 days after the event, President Obama was on The View, and he was still using the word mob as yeah. if to suggest somehow there was a crowd. That's why Republicans are all upset about this. And they may be right or wrong, but I think you have to admit they have some reason to be a little either confused or irritated that this kept being, that this mythology kept going out there when the facts seemed to say otherwise. Well, the DNI Clapper did issue a statement uh, expressing basically that they had gotten it wrong in the initial assessment, that there wasn't a protest. But uh, there are a lot of conflicting in, uh, intelligence reports about, even now, about whether there was a protest there, about what the motivations were, and were they motivated about retaliation for the death of one of their leaders? Was it related to 9-11? Was it related to Cairo? Was it related to the video? And I think probably the truth of the matter is there were a great many people involved in this attack, and some were motivated by all of the above. But, uh, but the idea... Oh, hold, hold on that, a second, Congressman. Yes. Hold on a second. That sounds yeah. like you're going back to the line that somehow this was a protest. And now, you've already said the intelligence community said no, they got it wrong. This was I'm not, not a saying, protest. I am not this saying was a that planned this... attack on 9-11 yeah. on a U.S. diplomat. Well, Correct? First of, first of all, uh, there, there is no definitive conclusion yet that this was a pre-planned attack. Uh, and that is one of the key issues, not whether we call it uh, terrorism or extremism. Clearly, it's a terrorist act when you're fire, firing mortars and RPGs. The, the real question was, how much was this planned in advance and who was responsible? Uh, the intelligence community didn't know that when they first addressed us. Uh, we are still trying to get to the bottom of the degree to which it was pre-planned uh, and whether we should have seen any of this coming. But to suggest, as some ha have, that there was a deliberate effort to manipulate the intelligence or mischaracterize it simply isn't the case. And what the general said today was the changes that were made in the multi-agency process of coming up with those talking points, they were changed in order to protect classified sources of information. Uh, and the general made it clear there was no interference from the White House. He also made it clear, and I asked him about this, um, the, since the statements that our ambassador made on those Sunday talk shows followed 
uh, immediately after, really, the morning after the afternoon, which we got the talking points, that reflected the best assessment of the intelligence community at the time that could be shared without revealing potentially classified sources of information. That was what the general said today. Uh, and for those who suggest that her talking points were watered down or changed for some malicious purpose or that she knew better, that is simply not the case. Uh, and it's inconsistent with what the general told us. It's inconsistent with what the acting director Morell told us. Uh, but I think some people are clinging to this theory developed during the presidential campaign and refuse to let it go, notwithstanding all the facts to the contrary. Well, and uh, although I think you have, to, you have to admit, if officials have said from the beginning, we don't know, instead of speculating, we wouldn't be here, would we? Well, they were being bombarded, frankly, by all of us on the committee who wanted to know, who wanted answers, who was responsible, how all did right. this start, how did it get out of control? And they warned us that their initial assessments were just that, and we're going to change as we gather more intelligence. Maybe, frankly, many of us on the committee should have listened more carefully when they said they didn't know the answer to some of these questions, but this was their best initial assessment. All right. I really appreciate you being here very much, though, though tonight Pleasure, to Tom. talk about it. I'm sure we'll talk about it some more. Up next.